Hi, I'm Ed Coulter. I will tell you that I've been on stage for most of my life, since about age 12. And when I say on stage, I mean musical theater and opera, an undergraduate degree in theater. But um, this wasn't my primary vocation. And my primary vocation was to um, administer and manage physicians for the last 40 years. I was a workaholic. I was focused on material things and uh, acquiring assets. And I thought that my role really was to provide for my family. And I think I did an okay job at that, but as I look back, I probably could have been a better husband and a, and a better father. I did sing in the church choir every Sunday uh, with my musical background, but I really didn't know Christ at, at that time. I've always been content with what I believe to be a very uh, joyful and fulfilling life for myself. And I gave generously to others. I gave them my time, my talent, and resources. And I thought I had it all. And my wife, she told me some time ago that maybe my pride could be a problem for me. Um, and she said that just by doing good works was not, uh, not the answer and I would never be able to unite with my Lord and Savior. And she was right. Uh, having started to read my Bible uh, daily and to memorize some verses, uh, we know uh, in Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 that uh, for by grace you have been saved through faith, but not of yourself. It's a gift of God and not by good works because we don't want one to boast. So she was right. There was a period of time a few years ago when um, I failed God miserably. We all sin, but my sin hurt uh, many, many friends and family at the time in so many ways. But I know that my sins have been forgiven, and I know that for sure. Thankfully, I had a Christian man in Ottawa, Kansas that led me to a Bible study years ago. He didn't judge me. He knew of maybe a sin of mine. Uh, he didn't judge me, he just loved me. My wife has been wonderful, reminding me to stay in the Word daily, to thank God uh, every time that I can for His blessings, and to pray regularly. A Tuesday morning men's Bible study, 6.30 on Tuesday morning, has been a blessing. There's such great Christian men there. Bill Shiflett, I have to say, has helped me through our music program by taking time to pray and to rejoice in God's love during rehearsals. I've never found that before in a music program all of my life, singing in choirs. And I find myself singing all week those songs that, that we sing on Sunday. And I'll never forget the day that I met uh, Pastor Chad for the first time. Mark, a good brother in our uh, Bible study, introduced me to Pastor Chad in the parking lot at Panera Bread. And uh, Pastor Chad hugged me and said, God loves you. Uh, I spoke about being on stage previously. Well, today, I feel like I'm on the largest stage in the world, a stage where I can become more bold in sharing the gospel with others. I'm more joyful, content, and humble than I've ever been in my life knowing Jesus Christ as I do now. Giving now takes the form of loving and caring others for others as Jesus did. He loved and cared for us. So I do thank you, Lord, for sacrificing your son so that I might have an eternal relationship with you. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ, and now I can publicly profess that Jesus Christ is my personal Lord and Savior.